Hey guys, how are you? I'm doing your you versus them reading for this week. I also have put up my website, so if you would like to book a personal reading, I am good to go with that. Um, also, please like and subscribe to my channel. I'd greatly appreciate it. I have already cleared and cut the decks, but I'm going to shuffle a couple times for you. And this is going to be you versus them. So I'm going to have one of you over here, one of you over here. I'm going to put you and them. But the energies can be switched. So if you feel like you resonate more to the right, then that's fine. You do what you do. This is your read. If it doesn't resonate, it doesn't resonate. It's just not your story. I am going to start with an oracle card just to see if there's an overall message. What do you have for my Aquarians? You versus them. What do you have for my Aquarian spirit for you versus them? Thank you to thank you to you guys for being um, my most liked video last week as well. That was awesome. All right, let's see what we got. We got new love. I like it. So this is you versus them. New love. Also, guys, I'm working on my space as well too. I know the angle is not that great. Bear with me. I just don't want to change too much until I can figure out exactly where I'm going to place this. Thanks again. But again, new love. This is a good way to start the you versus them. These cards have also been cleared and shuffled. You versus them. Tell me about my Aquarian's person. You versus them. Woo! A couple cards fell out. We got this, the Seven of Swords. We have the World. We have the King of Swords. So that may be you over here. The Ace of Pentacles. We have the Seven of Swords. I'm going to put over here in the World card. All right. So this is new love coming in for you. There's definitely a, you want a new beginning. I feel like this is your energy, Aquarians. You're thinking, you're thinking about a new beginning right here. And you may be dealing with another um, air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. This energy here could be this person may have been sneaking around, may have had um, you, uh, just some deception here. Um, I see sneaky. I see somebody sneaking off and I see the world card, which is the end of a cycle. So I'm going with, this tells me that your them may be a completed cycle. This could be somebody you have just left or have been separated from and Maybe new love is coming in now that you are no longer in this situation over here. But let's go ahead and pull some some more cards here to clarify. What is going on with my Aquarius and their person? It does not have to be another air sign. Cards are just flying today. Look at this page of wands. Reckless behavior. Um, I love this card in a positive way because this is somebody who's free. Um, free-spirited, very confident, just has so much energy and has no care in the world. Or it could mean just reckless behavior. But I'm thinking here that you are feeling free from an old situation and you're ready for new love to come in. That's the message that I'm getting. We have three of pentacles. So working together. Maybe in the past you were not working together with this, um, this person that you're dealing with. Uh, maybe there was a third party situation. Maybe you just couldn't get them to work with you on the relationship. And that is why <clears throat> you guys have broken up since or separated. And that is why you're carefree. You're out there just doing whatever you do to be you. So I'm going to go with this is a current a mutual um, energy here. We have the King of Wands. This could be the new love coming in for you. This could be somebody who's very dynamic, a go-getter, somebody who finished what they start, what, what they start. Somebody who's a visionary, somebody who's very athletic, sporty. They, you know, they they just like being outside, being active. Um, somebody who's a natural-born leader. So this could be the new love that's coming in in the current situation. All right, universe. What else do we have for my Aquarians? 
Woo, they're just falling out for me. The chariot. The chariot. Yes. So the chariot, the king of wands, this new love could be coming in quick. Messages are coming in. This here on you, this is your side, or the, it can be vice versa, either way. But this um, King of Swords here is also a communication card. So there's a communicating for a new beginning. So maybe this is what you want. You're waiting for communication from this new love to come in. Uh, and it's coming in fast. And it's it's maybe from a Aries, Sagittarius, or Leo. Heartbreak. Definitely heartbreak. So you have had separation in the past from this other air sign over here. There is definite heartbreak, but you have recovered. You have recovered, and you are just confident and having a good time, and you have no care in, you, in the world right now. We have death and rebirth, transformation. So this is you, maybe, with this card, have already transformed into the new you, the carefree you, who is ready for new love to come in. You could also be um, wanting, or, or somebody coming in could be a Scorpio. This is change, the change card. So your life is changing currently. This is the current position right in the middle. What are the messages do you have for my Aquarians? You versus them. There's definitely a new beginning, a new venture coming in with that Ace of Pentacles. Definitely communication from this new love. And there's been definitely a separation in the past from this Aries, I mean from this... Um, Libra, Aquarius, or Gemini, or somebody with those qualities, somebody who was sneaking around. Let's clarify this um, this past person uh, universe. Let's clarify this past person. Woo, that one flew out. The Empress. So this card, let's clarify the Empress because that's a nurturing card. Maybe this person wasn't nurturing. When this comes in, um, and as, well, it was a very positive card, but when it comes in on the ne on this negative side here um it's telling me that somebody wasn't nurturing something what and so this person wasn't nurturing the relationship wasn't nurturing um it, it wasn't unconditional love that's what it's telling me it was not unconditional love and that's back to this mutual card here with somebody may not have been working together in this relationship they were not given to the relationship what other messages can you tell me about this um, past person? What other messages can you... Ooh, your cards are flying today. This past person could have been somebody from your childhood. Um, could have been slow growth. Um, could have been... Maybe you have forgiven this person. Or maybe uh, you can't forgive this person. That what they did to you was um, unforgivable. There is a Queen of Cups here. So maybe this person was very insensitive to your feelings. This person is very, this tells me that they were detached, maybe um, withdrawn and just didn't care about your feelings. We also have the Seven of Pentacles. This to me, when I'm as I'm getting it on this side, is telling me that it was a, um, only one person was given to the relationship here. One person was applying the energy and it was a very slow growing relationship. Um, which goes with this card here. Um, wasn't nobody was um, they you weren't working together here. You definitely were not working together. But it's a completed cycle. It's been a completed cycle, so you have separated from this person. Definitely separated from this person in the past. And you are now, you are now here just full of excitement, full of your, this is like my rebellious type card. Like, you just don't care anymore. This is your life. And you're waiting for this new beginning, this communication to come in with, um, of new love, of new love. Universe, tell me more about this new love. Tell me more about this King of Wands that's coming in. It could be a cancer too with this chariot, but these messages, this this person of yours is coming in quickly, quickly with messages. All right, tell me a little bit more about this new love for the Aquarians. Tell me a little more about this new love for the Aquarians. Woo, that one flipped too. Well, three of them flipped, let me see. The sun, the yes card, the happy, the joy. So yes to new love. Anytime I get the um, the sun card, it means just yes in a positive way. So whatever your question was, yes, 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 my dears. Also, the justice card. You could be dealing with another air sign, a Libra. You will have balance, complete balance in this, re this relationship with this king of wands. 
and also we have the hangman so you could a uh, pisces could be coming in but this is this card to me is telling you in this current position that you have let go of something that was not meant for you so this cycle back here with this person from the past has ended you have paused you took a break you you took care of yourself you're you're confident again but you have let go of something that you knew was not meant to be for you and now you have the king of wands coming in and it's it will be a balanced it will be a balanced new beginning it will be the it will be a perfect unity that you have been looking for and you will have the sun card you will have this the yes card all right i love those messages that was a great read let me go ahead and get um, another Love Oracle card for you and just see what this card says. Universe, what can you tell me about this relationship with the Aquarians? What else can you tell me? What other messages do you have for my Aquarians? What other messages? If I can shuffle correctly today. What other messages do you have for my Aquarians? This is awesome. You definitely have a new love coming in. Um, and this person's very dynamic, a leader. Somebody who's going to move quick, quick communication. It's going to be a balanced relationship all right we have cupid's arrow have faith have faith love is coming in surprise invitation or meeting or meet meet in sorry my accent meeting um hesitation so if you are hesitating to um if you've been invited to go somewhere and you have a, a you know second thoughts on this don't don't the universe is saying you're gonna you know the, your yes card the sun you're going to meet you have faith love is coming a surprise invitation to this place and this is where you're going to meet your new love that's awesome guys that is super awesome i'm going to get um a universe card just to see what else the universe might have to say for you universe what other messages do you have for my aquarians this is an awesome read you i always get awesome reads for you guys this is a good time for you guys I love it. Universe, what other messages do you have for my Aquarians? This is just a general um, inspirational message from the universe to remind you that the universe always has your back. I choose love no matter what. That's awesome. I choose love no matter what. This new love. Have faith. Go to that surprise meeting. Wherever you've been invited to go, go there. What else do we have? Happiness is my birthright. That's awesome, guys. Thanks again. I'm so happy you came by. Please like and subscribe. And again, my website is up down. You can see the link down below. Um, please leave any comments if you'd like to tell me anything. Share some advice with me or tell me what you thought about the reading. That'd be awesome. You guys are awesome. I love you guys. Take care.